then how? How did he be, be captain? He'd take a rice, some, some rice sacks, which people today don't know what it is. It's, it's equivalent to a, to a potato sack except double in size. He'd cut that up and make a, 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 like, like strings of that, and they'd, they'd braid a quart, a whip. And then uh, that's what he'd whip his prisoner, his, his Mardi Gras with. And, and when, see what would happen now, uh, you had, you had uh, like uh, one Surrey, that was a two-seated buggy. You had uh, two musicians and a bus string player and a captain would ride that. No, that's not how I was, that captain, he was on horseback. The, uh, you, you had the, 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 the Surrey would carry the three musicians and the driver of the Surrey. That's what it would carry. Then you had a buggy. You had a buggy with rice sacks to bring the chickens. Okay. All right. Now this captain, he'd stop you way over yonder because in those days uh, you, you had a lot of respect for everybody's property and all. He'd stop the whole Mardi Gras with that and he'd He'd ride his horse to the gate, and he'd ask if it permission to enter. So they'd, then, then they'd all said yes, you know, because that's that's all we ever had once a year. It was the only entertainment we ever had. So he had a flag. He he motioned that flag. Kikulur flag. No. No, I can't. I can't remember that. He flagged him to come, but I'm pretty sure it's white. Okay. He'd flag them to come, and then they'd come. They'd, they'd start running them horses. They'd run them horses wide, wide speed to the to the gate, and then they'd stop right there. And then they'd get on and they'd, they'd put on an act, and they'd dance and they'd put on an act, you know. And uh, the they, 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 then they start singing, really singing, you know. Uh, like. Uh, the Toro, I can't sing, but I'll give it a word. Toro, Toro, the Mardi Gras, the Pauvre Mardi Gras, qui devient d'autre si loin, et qui a aussi lâche, et qui a aussi faim. Le Mardi Gras vient qu'un fois par an, et c'est pas des malfaiteurs, c'est juste des bégueurs qui vous demandent la charité. Mes chers amis, qui vous demande la charité, quand même un petit pour grâce, ou un galon de riz, ou de quoi pour faire un roux, comme un tasse à café de graisse. You see, we had no oil. You had no shortening. It's strictly hot grease. Un tasse à café de graisse, ou un tasse à café de farine. And you go on the assumption that they, they put on an act. Mm -hmm. They dance and they raise hell, and every now and then one of them is pretend like he want to jump the fence and go with that. And everything's scared. The horses are scared, the mules are scared, they, they're all scared, you know. And the cow, even the cows run away, you know. And uh, they pretend like they want to jump the fence or something, and that Mardi Gras, that, that yeah. captain. That captain black? Okay. But they don't look as good. Beaucoup, on vous remercie beaucoup. Hein, et on vous invite, vous et votre famille, à soir, à la salle de danse à Tsikour, Tsikour Ardoin, à Elton. Et you, on aura un gros gambo. Et après le gambo, on aura un bal, joué par Ike, Ike Delbonne et Maron Jonis. You know. And then they leave. You know, that, that's the few words I remember, but it was a pretty long thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you see, I run one time. And I was about 18 years old, I guess. And uh, you see, the fuselage, my other family, they were the Mardi Gras You see. Said Elmo, I don't know if we run, but one just one time that I remember. 
And uh, old man Klopak, you were with the captain, I remember that. And uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right, I remember that. Uh -huh. The same uh -huh. thing. Uh, and uh, they, oh yeah, they... Ça pointe, y en avait qui pointait dans leur main, peut-être. Oui, qu'ils faisaient... Ça faisait ça. Un petit cent sous, mais aujourd'hui, they asked for a dollar. Et ça chantait quelque chose quand ça faisait ça? Oui. Tu te rappelles pas qui ça chantait? Non. Did, did, did you ever run with Cotto? No. Cotto was a different bunch. The little bunch we run with was from San Elmo, one time. Well, didn't Odell run with you? Mm -hmm. Odell, Ose, Uzi Langley, Amos Lafleur, Tupti Lafleur, about 15 of them. Where did y'all start and where did y'all end up? You remember that? Yeah. We started at Ose Buller's house that lived where, where, where his daddy lived. And then we wind up in Elton at the at the dance hall. And so we all started in the country, and then y'all ended up in yeah. town. Y'all would hit any of the Shabaj? No, no. Don't start like they didn't have anything in it. No, no. They had nothing to give. But y'all would go like to uh, we pat we to Langley's. Oh yes, yes, yes. And, and the the where Amos Lafleur and all that. Amos and all of that. And 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 then we come by. And Aju, then. Is that said, then when we got to uh, to Powell's Mill, that we turned, we went to Oh, to Powell's Mill. I remember one thing that I remember, for instance, uh, Aunt Alzina, that was, uh, she lived where Myrna Sheriff lives. Yeah. Uh, where she had made, uh, and we were all hungry then, and we drank in that moonshine, and uh, we, uh, we uh, she had made a wash pan full of donuts. Boy, hit the spot, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Went good with, with, with that whiskey anyway, uh, with, with that moonshine. With moonshine. Yeah, well, see, that was in Prohibition days. Oh. And, and and they had, in that survey, we had a gallon of jug. We had put up each money, we'd buy a gallon for a dollar, I guess. It was a, we'd put up each little bed. Now, he had a little measure, uh, oh, oh, man, every now and then he'd, well, see, we never knew anything about such thing as a highball or anything. We didn't know there was no such a word as that. Yeah. It's easy to eat a whiskey or home brew. So he gave us each a little shot that we'd all drink out of the same little thing there, you know. And every now and then he'd give us a little shot just to keep us in gear, you know. But uh, but I, uh, I uh, in other words, well, who was the captain? Okay. There was a Clofog That is Amos's grandpa. That was Mrs. Don Jack Lafleur's daddy. There was all there was one captain or there was more than one? One captain. Yeah, it, it was he uh was he in a costume or the captain no. wore didn't, oh, no. didn't wear no costume. No. No. Did he have a cape on or please? No. No. We, we, but uh, he was civilian dressed. Now they put a cape on him. Yeah. He was civilian dressed. And your horse, that was your horse you were riding? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I remember him well, a horse I'd gotten from Odell by the name of Doc. Hey, you know what I wanted to ask you?